Drop test. Mm. That seems to be that seems to be in order. Let's see here. Drop test. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. That's good. I have no nope. idea what you're doing right now. I'm doing a drop test to make sure the firearm doesn't go off when it's dropped. It's part of the military trials. Yeah, this is definitely a safe firearm for military use. You never loaded it though. Wait, is it actually broken? <laughs> yes. Its condition is zero. Oh. So maybe that's why it's not firing. Mm, you know what? You might be right. Let's just get rid of it by shoving it into this rocket launcher. You mean this water tube? <laughs> this pipe. All oh, right, it's called a pipe. I called it a water tube <laughs> for some reason. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why don't you call it a water tube? <laughs> Hello, sirs. Greetings. Cre you out of your mind? NCI's guns, Frank. Guns. There's more to war than guns. Yeah, like grenades and explosives. NCI's <laughs> got those, too. <laughs> but what about heart, Bill? Legion ain't got no heart. That's exactly what I'm saying. They're crazy, heartless bastards. And they'll yeah. kill you and your family before you even think to shoot it. Shoot what, Frank? Their hearts, Bill. Their hearts. What do you think? NCI or <laughs> Legion? <laughs> what? I'm the one who asked that question. I guess, I guess NCR is technically the lesser of two evils. I think they can both go straight to hell. What? What has the NCR done? That's so offensive. I don't know, subjugate the entire local populace and uh, enact a bunch of taxes on shipping routes and then not do anything to protect those people or keep the roads safe. But do they kind of suck more or worse than the Legion? Oh, the Legion really sucks. Do they? Kess told us about the good things they had going on. They had clean roads. They don't tax They also have death. slaves, and they send out hit squads. <laughs> the NCR sends out hit squads too, though. Oh, crap. Somebody killed Pacer. Might have been the Van Graffs. Might not have been. How many other people do you think the NCR has had killed quietly? Wait, do you think the NCR is going to try and silence us? I don't want to say no, because that sounds like a sure way to get a hit squad after you. God, it seems like the thing they might do. <laughs> Even still, I think it's safe to say we're siding with the NCR here. Ha! <laughs> That's right. No way a bunch of nutjobs of swords and slingshots can stand up to a well-trained soldier. See what I tell you, Frank. This mope agrees with me. NCR all the way. <laughs> so you finally made a friend, Bill. How much you paying him? <laughs> no more than your sister charges. Oh! <laughs> she leave Nessie alone. She's got the shell shock from seeing you naked. <laughs> All right, conversation's over. Conversation done. Oh, he moved to a different table. He was so mad. The ultimate insult. He was so mad he got up and moved to a different table. Damn. You're trying to fiddle with the jukebox. Your memory's getting foggy, Bill. I got up the last time and the time before that. Well, that explains my headache, given how awful your taste in music is. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that your wife, Easy Pete? She's a very attractive lady. Ah, tumble wife. <laughs> tumble wife. <laughs> Pete gets more action from a tumbleweed than Trudy around here. Wow, Easy Pete, you are almost dead. Go talk to Doc Mitchell. Right now. <laughs> Go talk to Doc Mitchell. Did someone dig a bullet out of your head recently but didn't do a very good job? Jeez. <laughs> Come to the Crimson Factory. Don't mind if we take that, do you? Thank you. Are you interested in seeing the future of space tech? Yes. Can't wait to live in your very own house on the moon? That sounds cool. Want to see the most advanced rocket ever designed up close? Well, I don't know how close we're getting. You'll literally be inside the rocket bell. Well, that's cool then. While it's firing. That's not so cool. Come to the Robco Aeronautics Factory in Tinkerton, where the future of the United States space program is being built. 200 years ago, maybe? Take a tour in our spotless halls of innovation, where you can see all the advancements that have been made in the past five years alone. You won't want to miss the best part of the tour, a close-up look at the Robco Mark V Space Cowboy rocket, which is preparing to launch in two weeks. On the bottom of the page are the directions to a location nearby. Someone left a key and the words Crimson Factory are written in a dark red marker across the bottom of the page. You sure it's marker and not blood? Right. Either way, let's go! There aren't a whole lot of factories worth exploring. Could be some good loot inside. Possibly. And it's very near to Good Springs. Which is weird because I don't remember that being here. We haven't explored Good Springs all that thoroughly. Crimson Factory, apparently. Yeah, we've overlooked that. Someone should really clean up this place. Somebody, not us. Get Billy on the job. Now, where is Billy? He's defending Novak. Somebody has to since Manny Vargas died. Um, oh. 
Apparently this tunnel goes to the Crimson Factory. You know what? I bet this is the tunnel they use to ship the rocket. Oh, that would make a whole lot of sense. Never mind, this isn't the tunnel they used to ship the rocket. It, it, oh, okay. It looks nice, though. Kind of reminds me of White Sands Missile Base. Is that a... Is that a Mauser broom handle? Yep, that is a Mauser broom handle. Also known as the Type 22, yes. You, the, you, you mentioned that the Chinese name all their weapons Type Number. Yeah, they do, and I don't know what the Chinese nomenclature for this pistol is, so. I thought it was Type 22, but maybe I'm getting my types confused. I don't know, there's so many. I can't remember the names of all of them. They used it in World War I, and it was outdated in World War I. Uh, what's not great about in it? In 1914, mm -hmm. this pistol was outdated. What made it outdated? The fact that it only holds, what, 12 shots? The real one holds, I think, 10 rounds. It's an internal magazine that you cannot remove. You have to load it with stripper clips. Wait, what? You... You... <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible! So then you have to take a stripper clip, which is just a long piece of metal with a bunch of bullets in it, and then push all the bullets down into the magazine with your thumb. Mm -hmm. And if you do it wrong, the bolt will close on your thumb. <laughs> sounds so fun! Why does the name DJ sound familiar? Hello, sir! Hello, Squad Junior! The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is, and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. You can call me DJ. I've been trying to get this radio station up and running for... Uh, it's Tuesday, right? Uh, two, three, Is it Wednesday? About three years now. Oh my god! Why, you've been at it for some time. It's unusual for me to see someone come here, though. Anything I can help you with? Looking for some tourist advice or something? I got that. How did you get that name, DJ? That's what they used to call people who ran radio stations in the old world. DJs. So it's the name I sort of picked for myself. I changed my name from time to time. In the hub, I was Baby Blue Lips. In the capital wasteland, I was called American Weirdo. Stuff like that. Nice. If you're a fan of Al Chess Breach, you probably know me as J. Chris Poe! So, yeah. I, I have a lot of names. Ah. But you can just call me DJ. Alright, we'll go with DJ for now. We're looking to salvage the Robco Aeronautics Factory. Maybe riding a rocket. Strip it for parts, sell the copper, buy some heroin. If you're thinking about checking out the Robco Aeronautics Factory, let me give you this advice. Don't. It's not worth your time or your skin. Why? You sure? For one thing, it's now known as the Chaos Cathedral, and it's occupied by savage robots with a thirst <laughs> for blood. I bet you didn't know that part. <laughs> That's a sweet name. Just turn around and go to Vegas. You may lose your caps, but you'll still have both your arms, and that's nice. <laughs> Say, are you a courier? My, our employment's somewhat complicated these days. Courier, bounty hunter, assassin, debt collector, NCR hit squad. Courier is just what Ulysses called you. Courier 6. Though, based on your gear, I'd imagine that you do more mercenary work nowadays. Yeah, very much. We've never met this person you speak of. The man with the old world flag on his back. Came by here... Six months ago? It was nice to have some company, so I let him live here for a time. You can have his old room if you really want. Just go out the back door and head up the stairs to the left. Okay. Uh, did he leave any cool knickknacks? By the way, are you looking to make some caps? I've got a couple of jobs that you might be interested in. Before we get to work, the note that sent me here had Crimson Factory written on it. The factory part refers to the amount of rampant robots, and the crimson part refers to, well... Uh, the chaos? Blood? Well, these robots are kind of... bloodthirsty. Yes. They'll attack pretty much any human they see. They already have fights between each other on their own. Might cue up the robot killing music. So expect to be shot at a lot. But I'm sure there are some interesting ruins to explore that are probably untouched by prospectors. Well, that's tantalizing. Mm. This place has already been deemed a quarantine zone by the NCR, blocked off from the rest of the world, minus that train tunnel you came through. There are some other people in the valley, mostly creeps and weirdos though, Ooh. but I'm sure they'll be much more friendly than those robots. I've gotten mail from this one guy in particular. Apparently he wants to meet me or something. Maybe you should check him out first. He's hiding out in the general store up in South Springs. All I know about him is that he goes under the username RebelRat77Online. Mm. Weird. 
there are weirder names. Be sure to watch out for traps, though. Tripwires, landmines, and effeminate men in dresses. He's probably well protected if he's in robot territory. Doesn't exactly sound affable. Other than that, there's a kid named Caleb living nearby. And of course, the doctor is up the road. And a few other people I can't recall now. Sure, we'll go talk to them, see if they got anything interesting. Just look around for a bit. I'm sure you'll find them. So as you probably guessed by now, this is a radio station. Not a fully functioning one, but one nonetheless. I mostly just use the ham radio to talk to my main man Stilton and Novak, but lately I've been receiving transmissions from this robot nearby. This prick named Asimov is tapping into my radio signal just so he can call me Oi. up and make fun of me. I didn't even know they could do that. <laughs> yeah, that's how radios work. So your job is simple. Go put a bullet in his dumb robot brain and come back so I can make it rain caps on you. Deal? <laughs> Sounds like a deal. Before we leave, is there anything else you can tell me about the robots in this valley? I don't really know the origin of most of the robot factions here, but I can give you some helpful hints. Lay them on us. Hive is mostly just iBots, so they won't cause you much trouble. They're freaking everywhere, though. So are Kingdom Machines. The Kingdom Machines? The Turing community is very territorial. You'll mostly find them in one place. There is a lot of them, though, so watch out. Because they're turrets and they can't move. <laughs> The rust buckets are pretty hazardous. They have a tendency to hang out in abandoned structures. So be careful out there. A lot of different robots. Argus is an old world security system. They're rare, but they're tough. But if you see them, then you know they're guarding something valuable. How many deadly robot factions do you guys have? Chaos and Cyberstar are just two sides of one homicidal coin. Just avoid both of them. They come in large numbers with plenty of firepower. Okay, we'll look into that, and we'll be back. Unless we get killed, and then we won't be back. Bird up. <laughs> Bird up. You're watching Bird Up, the worst show on television. Let's go meet some new people. Uh, no, let's go check out the room first. No, oh, come on, there's so many cool people, I'm sure. Nope, room first. Courier duster. I don't want it. <laughs> and who would want to wear something like that? Five, six, five, six, a bowie knife, and a... Whetstone or paperweight. I'm never sure which that is. Satchel charges. Some books. Ten mil rounds. Breathing mask. I'm not going to take that. We'll just leave it here for now. I don't know what it does, and it looks important. Spy relay. Ooh. Yeah, let's leave it. You sure? Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to take it yet. All right, let's go kill some people. Uh, or talk to them. Could be friendly. Aim for the circuitry. Aim for the circuitry. There you go. A couple shots here, a couple shots there, and everything's fine. The hell is this thing? What is that? What? That's, Ow! That's new! <laughs> loading missile! No! Firing missile! Stop loading and firing missiles! Okay, you know what? <laughs> Problem solved! Ow! Oh, we got a few more hostiles! Just a couple of drones. Who keeps putting laser weapons on drones? Who thought of Stop this idea? Stop doing this! Stop arming robots! Have you watch the Terminator movies? This I is how humanity gets destroyed! Oh, oh he's look adorable! Look how cute it is! Ow! 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 Oh wait, he's not even breaking my damage threshold. Alright, have fun, buddy. <laughs> I'm surprised that there are people out here, considering that there are hostile robots everywhere! I don't know, maybe the- do, <laughs> This thing is weird. I- I- I kind of love it because it's adorable failure. It's so jittery! <laughs> it's just like my Roomba when I- when I leave catnip out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad now. It looks like he's sleeping! Here, let's prop him back up. That was a grenade noise. That's stuck inside this house and see if anyone's here. Uh, you may have to use the doorknob itself. Yeah, one of those doors. The rice fields. If they're Asian, we're going to be mad that this is racist. And there's nobody here. Okay, that house is empty. Maybe they got killed by robots. Uh, I think I missed something. Oh, there's no doorknob. To <laughs> <laughs> go in the other door. Oh, you, there is something here. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. Motherfucker! Ah! 
Oh my god, I can't even see what's happening. The robot set an ambush for us. They're so clever. Oh yeah! Let's all beat up on the robot. Thank god I have these pulse slugs. I would like to continue using that Mauser broom handle, except it sucks. <laughs> and also, um, it does barely anything to these guys, so I'm just gonna stick with pulse slugs for yeah, now. Yeah, it might be fun, but until we find an organic enemy, not gonna see much use. Doberman Pinscher's Crib. I guess this building is owned by a dog. Uh, or what? another robot! What the hell are these things? <laughs> Hello? Psychedelic! Oh no, I wanted to touch one and get some staticky hair. <laughs> They're pretty cool looking though. Make a good table lamp. Here's another spy relay. You're not going to be happy when all of these spy relays turn out to be a quest item and you have to go collect them all. Fine, I'll grab it now. Oh, Cass found more enemies. What, where? I, I don't, don't know. see anything. She's got crazy good eyesight. I have no idea what Cyber she's Cyber Star... Cass put a lot of points into perception as a- OH MY GOD! Oh dear god! <laughs> was that- is that another scorpion? Oh god, there it is! There it is! What is it? Cass, you gotta call your shots, I can't tell what we're shooting at. Just shoot in the direction she's shooting. What do we got here? Stony Kevin's house. Wonder if we're gonna be attacked by robots again, hmm? Hi, Kevin. Oh, no! Hi, Kevin. And nothing under the bed. Yeah, there isn't really anything in this building. Mm, there is Zilcho. Let's leave. Miss, Mrs. or Miss Eckerly's house. Oh, we haven't been attacked by robots here yet. Hey, who called it? We came, we saw, we got attacked by robots. Let's go. Hit him. Is that a person? No, it's a rust bucket f fireman? <laughs> is he? He's a fire hydrant that shoots. <laughs> yeah, he's literally a firefighter. <laughs> firefighter. It was a fire hydrant robot. <laughs> All right. I hope we find more of those. Those were kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> what? Ow! 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 I. If you had asked me what I was going to do today, being attacked by a stove on treads wouldn't have been my answer. Mike, please. It's a range. <laughs> What's the difference? That is just so weird. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Just put treads on anything and, and make it a weapon, sure. Yeah. Rust Bucket Temple, oh boy. Attention, this is now a combat zone. Yes it is, cause hot. we're here. <laughs> Give me all of your money. I am running in fear now. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> um, that's scary. Uh, there are a couple of interesting Ow, things here. spraying me. Uh, he knocked me over because it's literally like getting sprayed with a fire hose. <laughs> okay, couple of standard robots, couple of interesting robots, and a couple of actually kind of terrifying robots. Wait, the spitter is like a coffee machine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a coffee machine. Nice. Oh my god! We'll just deal with the guy spraying water on you. <laughs> Ow. I'm on fire and also being sprayed with electrified water. We got attacked by fire hydrants and ovens today. Oh my god, it is, it's a... <laughs> and pitching machines. Oh, look at this robot. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start shooting it. That's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Oh, he's going down a lot easier than I thought he would. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> good lord. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty monstrous. I thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I didn't even see that one in action. Yeah. Maybe they combine their powers. Oh god, that would be terrifying. They're shooting electric water at you. Yeah, if there's electricity and water, then they'll hit you with both of them. Yeah. Kind of like how elementals work yeah. in Warframe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fire and water will create antipode. Let's check out the kitchen. Maybe we'll be attacked by robots in here. What's this? All right, we're power fist bros. Yeah, yeah, high five. High five. Pro fist. Ah, oh, God, I wasn't ready. I feel like that was an accident, and I shouldn't have done that. Let's, let's not drive for two. I'm also gonna take the spy relay. Yes, we're collecting them. Are these, uh, let's see if these are good punching robots. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad. 
Yeah. Try to punch me, I'll punch you right back. <laughs> just punching ovens today. We're just punching ovens. Yeah, this is what I do to my real oven when it doesn't want to heat up properly. Preheat the 350, more like preheat your face. <laughs> come on, come on, I can take it. <laughs> this is training. <laughs> Hurt me, come on. This, I think you would have hit this one's targeting system. It ain't working. Doesn't seem to be working so hot. <laughs> it's so bad. Are you supposed to be trying to punch him out of the air? I don't understand what the point of this training is. I, I think it's trying to hit. Oh, that one actually came close. <laughs> nice try. Oh! Man. Oh! Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Knock it off! What? You can't take one single baseball to the chest. Oh, I punched his tread off. <laughs> I did They're destructible robots! Oh, so fun! <laughs> wow! Cool! Uh, oh, there's- Death! Wow, well that was a one hit. <laughs> these, these are some crazy critters, aren't they? Yeah, they're kind of weird. There are a lot of interesting robots around oh, here. Oh, it's like- It's like Protectron feet that are <laughs> jointed together to make legs. <laughs> Someone was having a crazy heyday with the welder. Do, 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 Robots don't have feelings. <laughs> Robots don't have feelings. I feel like melee is not conducive to my lifestyle. <laughs> uh, probably not. Let's start this dance. Yes, run, run from me. Surely I am not here to destroy you all. Ah, that noise is high pitched. Uh, I did not hear it. Oh, really? Are you having hearing issues? Is your tinnitus acting up? Oh, that was just a really high pitched noise. I, I didn't hear it. Go, 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 go! No. <laughs> what is this one? It's a rust bucket abomination. <laughs> hey, he's trying to run away. Mm. Maybe I should switch to a squirt gun. D oh, because we're fighting robots and water. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, they killed our little mole rat guy. His name was Curry. Yeah. Oh, poor Curry. Would you believe there was nobody inside this building except hostile robots? Yeah, go figure. What a surprise. A mm, little disappointing, honestly. Maybe we should have listened to uh, Squaw Jr. when he said to just turn back because there's nothing out here. Why do they call them potato crisps? Aren't they potato chips? Don't know. Supposedly people on the other side say chips are french fries. The other side? What, you mean hell? <laughs> the other side of the Atlantic. Not exactly hell, but from what I've heard, it's pretty damn close. <laughs>